Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you watched a video yesterday, it was a Battlefield 2042 settings video. Uh, if you missed it, you can go back and check the channel for that or check the link in the video description. I'll post it there for you as well. But I said that today we're going to do a video on the M5A3 loadout that I use with some hints and tips for that assault rifle. I've pretty much maxed it out now and I've got all my favorite attachments on it. I changed some settings to make it work though. I do mention this in yesterday's video. The ARs on Battlefield 2042 just did not feel right. So I did change some settings and it made them feel much, much better. But that's in yesterday's video. Check that out if you're also having issues with ARs. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you that loadout and some hints and tips with that weapon, with what I use and whatnot. Make sure you hit like and share to support the video. Subscribe if you're new as well for more Battlefield 2042 content from me. I've got a montage of this weapon in action coming over the weekend, some good clips, and I've also got a sniper one coming as well. I'll be doing a sniper video like this for the sniper that I'm using at the minute, probably next week. So be sure to subscribe if you want to catch all of that, that content. So let's get straight into this. I'm going to turn my webcam off so it's not in the way. And let's take a look at this loadout. So first things, the specialist. Um, choose whatever specialist that you want. Uh, my favorite specialist for using this AR, uh, what I've been using at the minute is uh, Sundance with the wingsuit. Um, not that it matters so much. I just love the wingsuit for traveling and whatnot. And the grapple hook as well. The grapple McKay works very well the grapple hook because with this weapon and like a submachine gun or even an lmg it's good to get up on top of rooftops getting close and get the job done so you can use any specials that you want though really it really doesn't matter so we're going to go to my assault type now and have a look at the loadout and what i use so you can see the m5 a3 there we're going to go over all the attachments in a moment i've got mastery 11 at the minute i'm just finishing it off so there are some unlocks still to get for it but i won't use them so i am using all of the unlocks that i can unlock for this weapon the secondary go with whatever you want to i just haven't changed it yet i've got the g57 there and the gadget you use the gadget for whatever situation um what i like to use with this i've still got things to unlock i've got the anti-tank mine to unlock and the so flam to unlock um but c5 is really good obviously for taking out vehicles or you can run the rocket launcher as well for taking out vehicles anything here is a good shout use whatever you want to the main thing you're coming here today i'm sure is to have a look at what attachments i have on i'm just going through what i use i kind of got c5 on the thrower ball they've took it out the game but uh just a top tip i wanted to give and i'll be giving in all these videos if you want to level up quickly when they put it back in the um, grenade, what was it called now? I forgot what it was, but it basically pulsed an area and it highlighted enemies, like a spotter grenade. That was really good. You got so much XP by spotting enemies and getting assists on them, but it was what was causing the rubber banding, so they had to take it out. But here is how my M5A3 looks. As you can see, I am a little bit short on the sights, but I am going to quickly show you now why I would be using them. The six times scope and the 3.5 scope. I don't like them. They're the last two things to unlock there. They will not be going on this weapon. Um, and the under barrel is the last one I need to unlock there. It's the 40 millimeter uh, incinerary barrel. Now I might actually use that to be fair. Um, but I, I won't as a main. It'll be like for fun. So that, that's the last thing I need to unlock. And how it's set up, what I like about Battlefield is that you got this like system where you can change your weapon on the, on the fly. Uh, I set it up where when I spawn in, I've got it set up how I want it for most situations. So you can see the site that I am using is the K8 Hollow site. Now this takes a little while to unlock. Uh, so if you don't have it unlocked right away, a great alternative which unlocks quite early. I was using the Fusion Hollow. That was real good. That enhanced the target visibility, but the uh, K8 Hollow is just better. It just looks better, and I, I went with that. Now, alongside that, anything you put at the the, the nearer to the center is going to be what you spawn in with. So the ammunition I spawn in with is the close combat one. That's giving me recoil control, reload speed, rate of fire, and the effective range is a, a negative. We'll speak about that in a moment. The under barrel there, I spawn in with the LS1 laser sight. This gives me hip fire accuracy. And again, it takes you a while to unlock this one. And then the suppressor, the suppressor that I use there, or the barrel rather, is the champion muzzle brake. And that gives you vertical recoil control. So they're the four 
mods that I'll always spawn in with. And um, what I'm looking for there is just to get a little bit of uh, recoil control on me. Um, I'm not going for range at all. When I tried to go for range, it just didn't really seem to help. And I want this weapon to be more close quarters to improve the close quarters effectiveness so so that's what i'm going for there now as i'm going if i do want to change things on the fly we are using the xdr hollow site there which is in the middle it does pretty much it's whatever site you, you you prefer really it's the same as the first one and i do have a four times if i want a little bit of zoom as well that's going to increase the zoom level and enhance target visibility on pc you press t i can switch this at any time if i need to for the magazine, what I'm taking in with me is a standard issue extended mag because the mag on this is really small. You see it's 35. So if I do want a few more rounds, I've got the option there to increase it to 40. And then the final mag is the armor piercing mag. With this mag, it penetrates vehicle armor. It penetrates light materials as well and uh, if i want that option i'll quickly switch to that as well definitely good when you're fighting enemies in vehicles as for the underbarrel, my other options here i've got an lwg grip which will give me accuracy while i'm static which is very good if i'm just like camping a corner or lying in a bush or something if i'm static i can quickly switch to this to get that accuracy i start with hip fire because i don't do that a lot and i'd rather have that hip fire accuracy when I need it. Uh, but yeah, but do sit down and just camp for a little bit of defend. I can quickly switch to that. And the third thing I've got here, and this is just to unlock the last one of the last attachments. It requires 50 kills with the grenade launcher. So I've got the fragmentation grenade launcher attached to do that. I'd probably go for the incendiary one once I've unlocked that because that sounds like fun putting people on fire. Uh, but yeah, that'll be there as the third option. And then as for the barrel my other options here we've got the 6ku suppressor which is going to suppress sound with no mini map spotting while firing this is good if i'm entering buildings so whereas that's giving me recoil control if i want to be a little bit more stealth inside a building to make sure i don't get spotted on the mini map i can switch to this quickly before i go in and that's going to enable me to do that and the final thing i can swap to there is the shortened barrel which is going to give me rate of fire if i want that so you can see the current rate of fire is 800 and if we do put this on it's going to increase that so that is my m 5 a free loadout that's all the mods that i use and as as i've shown you I'm, I'm only missing a couple of sites and another under barrel and i've got everything though there what i would use once i've unlocked them i wouldn't use anything different uh, that's just the m 5 a3 we're going to be using many more guns if we actually go in here we've got more assault rifles we've got the ak-24 we got the S4, if I'm pronouncing these wrong, I'm sorry. We've also got the AC42. My aim here when I'm doing these videos is once I've got all the attachments unlocked and I've played the, the weapon for a long time, we've got a good mastery on it like this, Mastery 11. I'll do videos and I'll show you how I set the weapons up. I'm currently working on the sniper at Mastery 4, the SWS S10. I've, I've not unlocked all the attachments for this yet. I've still got a bit of work to do on this, but I am going to be releasing the videos this weekend of the gameplay with both of these weapons we've got the assault rifle coming up lots of good game clips with that and we've got plenty of good clips with the sniper as well so these videos are coming this weekend so you can see them in action and uh, i'll try and get this sniper video out for you in the next week or so i'm quite busy got some busy streams coming up but uh the sniper is what i'm using right now as soon as i've got all those attachments unlocked we'll get that video out too and that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. It's the first of many, as I just said. Uh, as I get more guns unlocked and all the attachments unlocked for them, I'll share with you how I get them set up for those that are interested. Make sure you do hit like and share on this video if you did enjoy it, because that gives me the feedback I need. Uh, let me know if you do enjoy this video. Subscribe for the future videos as well. I hope you're enjoying them. Do go and check out that link in the video description now for the video yesterday if you want to check my settings video. And over the weekend, enjoy the gameplay videos I upload. But until then, thank you for watching this today. Stay safe and peace out.